How could she do this to us? I'm freaking the f Just go in. out. I'm freaking the f out. You guys, no, seriously. Seriously, no. You guys, for real. Um, I saw Whitney. And this is the first time you've really seen her in months, right? Completely. We talked about doing like an event like where we get everyone together and just like see everyone face to face, have a spirit of like friendship, fresh start. Hey! Hi. 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 I think Lisa brought me, but this is for you anyway. Thank you. Classic Lisa. I tell her she can invite a friend, and she brings the one friend that spread the worst rumors about me the last time we were together. Heather, Monica. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> so to be completely honest, Jen never said anything nice about Heather. You are so cute, by the way. We're both wearing Goldberg. Girl. Let's belly them. But she also never said anything nice about anybody ever. How Hi, are you? Lisa. Good. How are you? Spill on I anybody. actually love you. Oh, I love your coat. Mary and I didn't really leave things bad, but the last text message I got from Mary wasn't exactly nice. I pretty much cut everyone off, except Meredith. Whitney, I don't believe that you're alone the things you say. Because we left New York, I thought we were in a neutral, peaceful zone, and the next thing I'm seeing is that I'm like dirty and gross because and creepy because I take baths. That was a funny joke, Meredith. No, it was a dig on my marriage and a dig on my bath. That's not a like dig I, like on I have a that. dirty house. Okay, wait, so who here has read the book? Have you read Heather's book? Yeah. No. If I read books, I fall asleep sitting up. No one's reading that book. I'm not surprised that none of them have read the book. They're not readers. I kind of was eavesdropping, and I heard Angie asking Lisa about Jack's mission. Jack just told us he's going on a mission like a month ago. Oh. Oh. It's a terrible idea for Heather to insert herself into Lisa's son's life choices. Meredith and I have not in two years had a one-on-one -on -one productive conversation at all. I want progression. I don't want to like go backwards in things and situations, especially with friendships. I grew up in New York. I'm not a very trusting person. But with Meredith, I think I'm gonna make an exception. We have a lot of years behind us. I'm not gonna go backwards. I'm gonna look forward and put my blinders on. So Meredith hosting an, a girl's trip to Palm Springs, California. Why wouldn't you be invited? You know, that's a good question. What I don't get is that Meredith is planning this trip, and the whole theme of it is let's team build and bond. So help me understand how you do that, but you're excluding someone. Like, it's really bad energy, and I really don't like it. So we've got to cleanse this aura and send it away. Welcome to Trixie Motel. Oh. The other ladies are already here, so. Who? Welcome! Hi! Oh my god. Everybody's here. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're here already. I didn't know you were coming down. Hello. Hi. Angie? I don't trust you. Why? Like, why don't you trust her? I don't trust people that sh on history and friendship. I don't trust girls that suck the biggest dick in the room. I just don't. It was hard to listen all day to you losing a $60,000 ring. What's your deal with me, Monica? When you can afford to buy a $58,000 ring, you'll care about it too. You've treated me really inappropriately, and maybe I should actually explain to you how you've made me feel. I'm not really interested. <laughs> You're being very rude. Well, you can leave then. No, Meredith, I'm not this going anywhere. This is not anywhere. your dinner. You can leave. I'm not leaving. If I were to go for the jugular and talk about this sh the rumors and nastiness about her, well, let me do that. Do you I know think... what? You want me to go there with her husband? The rumor is that Sean likes to f other men. Meredith, don't touch 
touch me. No, I want to. You don't talk about my marriage. Don't touch me. Run away, Meredith. I don't speak to people who treat me with disrespect. Their legs outside their marriage is you, not me. Yeah. Talk to yours. Yeah. Deal with your no, marriage. Deal with Leave you. mine alone. Learn how to speak with respect to other people. You're spreading lies. I didn't spread anything, you Angie. You are spreading lies. I didn't you spread you anything, Angie. You're spreading women in the group, Meredith. She spreads lies about people. She spreads that, that and she walks away. Saying that my husband is okay, having okay, 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 okay. What is it? Monica, what just happened? She's gone to everybody's marriage. I can't believe I wasted another outfit on this event. Like, where's the food? Like, what are we eating? I'm being accused of spreading rumors about Sean being gay. But do you understand how insane that is? I don't want to be around them. I just don't see enough that they put in their self to be a better person mm -hmm. than I saw when I was around them a year ago. I need to see you do have a soul. You have substance. You have something. I don't have the energy. I'm exhausted for these people. There's something that's been bothering me. I was hurt because you had put out the rumors that you thought Meredith was speaking about. But I said that to you. You're saying something that you don't have any facts to back. Why do you care about Jack's mission? Because if you're sending your kid out into the wilderness for two years, you should know the good and the bad of it. I don't even think you know where you are right now, Heather. I'm being totally honest. I know, and I, I'm, I'm I think that with I you. think there's days when you're like, I want that back. You're, it's in your core. It's in your DNA. Yeah, that's why the book's so, not ex-Mormon. It's my heritage. It's like my culture. It's everything. I, I also live. think, like, too, like being. I don't want you to think I would ever undermine or hurt your son or not support you as a mother. Um, I don't think you would. Do that. I was the last one to know, and like you don't want to talk. You to wrote me. a book about being a bad Mormon. I'm focused on my kid being a good Mormon. I've heard things oh about God. you, but I would never repeat. Come it. with it. No. Come with it. What do you got? Foreclosure? Check. People? Check. No. Divorce? No. Check. No. Affair? Check. What else do you want? I'll own it all. I, I stand care. in it. And I don't I'll stand care. in it. I don't hate you, Monica. I don't know where I stand with you. You know what I mean? Hi, mom. We're working through it. You're both beautiful. We know. Powerful women. <laughs> Thank you. Bury the hatchet. That's what we're trying to do. I didn't start this. Sh you want to blame me? Monica, no. I love that people no come fun. for me and then they get mad when Nobody's I fight back. There's no blame. There's Mom? just me trying to understand. I'm, uh, no. El Dia de Pascua. Mom, I'm about to pop off. Okay, you know, let's just let's you just leave it because it's getting heated and we have kids here. Take me to the back. I just don't see us getting anywhere. I'm gonna move on since it's a it's not. not a day to have this conversation, obviously. Don't pull this with me when you, you don't have my back. Someone's okay. I would never talk to my dad like that. You are in someone's home. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to do this breath. with you because it's going to get ugly between go you and I. Breath. Go take a breath in the bathroom. We just got off the phone with Mary. I would just really love the opportunity to chat. If I don't feel it, I'm not showing up. Mary and I have quite a bit of history. You know, it hasn't always been the easiest of friendships. I brought you here to take accountability and talk Well, you're not it. doing it. So you're you know upset what? Because I'm asking you to do you're, the you're same not doing for it. the mean text message. And I'm not sitting here with you, so you for you to mean. tell me what I need to work on. You can be mean, but and I can't. You can. sit there and call my husband and my predators. You're, I know. You Mary, have several. That was awful. I can't believe Whitney is comparing my text messages to calling me a predator and my husband. How is that even in comparison? You can't just say anything about people that's not true and think that it's okay. Like, someone's gonna backhand you. Like, seriously, it might be me. I talked with Monica. She's in a very abusive situation with her mom. I am so, like, broken right now. And seeing my mom and how she treated me, like, shattered something for me. I, I love when things are conveniently abusive. What do you mean, like... You know what? You can be abused and also be abusive. The way she treated her mother was horrible. And this destructive conversation she's having about Sean and Angie's marriage, it has nothing to do with her mother. It has everything to do with who Monica is. Whitney told me that you think Monica is embellishing the issues with her mom. Wait, what? It was a snarky comment. That's all it was. Wow. 
Word travels fast in this group. You know what? I'm not interested in having these like erratic, crazy conversations. Like maybe you're more like your mom than you think you are. Maybe you're the exact same person and I'm not interested. Oh. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Regina, stay away. Have you had a chance to see Heather? Lisa, I was super excited about Jack's announcement and I told her how he was going to Columbia. Oh. And look, oh, oh, it was oh. kind of like. Why did you tell her? Lisa, Why did you I, tell it her? It just came out that I was super excited for him. And I think she felt hurt that she wasn't involved or invited to the announcement. Heather and I are in a much better place. And I don't want this non invite to become a big deal. I'm going to tell you something real quick. I'm not excluding you from anything. It's just hard because it's like a missionary announcement. Wait, run. Do it's a fine balance because you're on your own journey and I feel like you're mitigating your way through it. Yeah. So no. is it like, oh my God, let me throw this in your face. Jack's going to do something I get you're it. walking away from. So it's like a fine balance, but I don't want this Listen, to be a weird I thing. Just, it's just more the uh, Mormon stuff that triggers me, not Jack, you know, like not being included at the, the front. Yes. <laughs> being able to talk to Lisa openly feels like a huge breakthrough for our friendship. I can be supportive of her as a mother. I can be supportive of her children, even though I disagree, you know, with the concept of Jack going on a mission. We got this. We yeah. got this. Cheers to all of you for coming. I hope you love the line as much as we do. But now, sip and enjoy a little sound bath. Lisa, listen, I want to enjoy the sound bowl. Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. Old people need it. Should I go ask them to leave? I am beyond pissed right now. Like you get right in my face like I'm this. You both do, you both do. You both I'm just saying. Hold on, hold on. Stop, guys. Stop. No, Inch. separate, separate. Inch. I actually like fighting in this environment. Do you guys mind moving over here? You want an issue with me. Both can my husband can you move over here? Because you're in our way of our checkout. You both should have enough self-awareness and self-control to realize that you're screaming and yelling at my business event. What did you hear me scream? Stop it. Stop it. I said, please stop, stop talking to me. She would not stop. She, I don't even know During where she was. During a sound bath, like. OK, so it's my fault. Monica's re I'm, ridiculous. No, it's okay. both of your faults. I was equally upset with both of you, probably a little more upset with you, because I know that you know my brand, you know my heart, you know my journey. Did anybody order a music stand? <laughs> the book tour has had me stopping in cities all around the country, but this is the first small book event in Salt Lake City. Mm. What I love most about these book events is meeting up with people who have similar experiences and stories as mine. How's it going? I'm great. Thank you. So good. Tell me your name. Shan. I can't believe that someone asked me to write a book. I can't believe that people read the book. I can't believe that... People loved the book. Hi, sis. I'm not going to cry, I promise. You can cry. Oh, I cried already six times today. <laughs> I feel connected to these people, and I feel like they are the community that, that replaced the church in my life. Sherry passed away yesterday. I don't want to put a rain cloud over your event. I just wanted to show you my support. I can't ruin your event, though. No. You gotta, here. I brought it back up. Thank you. I tried so hard to rally. I can't believe you did. Thank you. That was really, I'm so sorry. I feel horrible for Whitney, you know? I can't imagine losing a friend and her showing up today really means something, you know? It's been a lot of ups and downs between us. I feel like we've, been on a path to repair, and her making the effort to come today really means a lot. I'm so sorry. How are you? It's gonna be okay. Uh, thank you. Just compartmentalize. It's okay if you do. Hey guys. Uh, oh my gosh, you brought more presents. Okay, so 420. Her book. Her book party was on 420. So I on keep purpose. giving her. Whoa, cannabis okay. gifts. Lisa was the first person I told that Sherry had passed. Lisa, yeah. for your hoodies. <laughs> for her to act like I'm not even existing right now, it's hurtful. It hurts when you walk up and go right past me and, and go straight to Heather with gifts like, oh my God, Heather, no. oh my God, I, I love you, here's these gifts. No. And then you look at me and you're like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, no I'm, I'm not. I need you to hug me. I need you to acknowledge that I lost my best friend. I'm sorry about that, Whitney.
When Whitney texted me that her friend Sherry passed, I felt so horrible. I sent flowers for her this morning to let her know I'm thinking of her, and I know that this has got to be such a hard time. But we're in public. I don't know how fragile she is. And like, for me, I plug through things. I want to be quiet about it. So I did not want to say anything that could like upset her because I don't know how Whitney handles grief. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me read the line. I've never been to Bermuda. To be honest, the only things I've heard about Bermuda are kind of scary. I'll be down by the pool with you in a minute. Where do you want to sit? Let's just sit right here. Whitney said that she's been helping you, like, not make it all about you, and that she's, like, really proud of you for, like, not reacting Wait, strongly to things. Wait, what are you talking about? And, like, how you're changing the way you are. Wait, what? I guess you had a conversation with Heather where I'm self-absorbed and you're helping me be a better person. How what are you the helping me to that? be a better person? You what are you talking you about? You said that you have really hard conversations with and Lisa. And you're helping me to be a better person. Well, what was wrong with me? You're proud of her. I am proud of you. I know. That's why I do I have to be a better person? So why, why are you meddling in my friendship? I'm not. Hi. Hi. Honestly, this is insane, and I really have never had a birthday like this in my life. It means so much. You guys really have no idea. About a week ago, Meredith said to Monica, like, she basically thinks you're in the Greek mafia. Well, I'd own the mafia. That's cool, right? She is constantly threatening or trying to threaten my family, my reputation, going and digging on me. If she wants to keep coming for me, she is making a f***ing lifetime commitment. Meredith is dismissing everything that I've worked for, and I f***ing had it. I'm sick of her coming at my business. I'm sick of her coming at my family. It's like enough is enough. She wants to see gangster. I'm going to show her gangster. Meredith called me and said, hey, have you gotten any DMs? I definitely feel like Angie and Meredith need to just duke it out. And if it needs to happen at my birthday party, I don't care. I'm good with it. I can get my cake to go because I also know that's the only way I'm going to be able to eat it. You're accusing me of doing fraudulent things that I am in the Greek mafia. Where are you hearing you from? one f***ing employee. I have hundreds of people. And what you are doing is risking the livelihood I of my employees by spreading Angie. rumors that I'm in the f***ing Mafia. I never being said fraudulent. I have never said you being were being dishonest mafia. with money I have and made their no finances of anything, Angie. Oh, so this is all made up? I have not made these claims. I do not understand this mess that you've gotten yourself in, and I also do not understand your lack of a reaction. I'm trying to process all this because there's a lot of elements here that aren't adding up. Tell me about it. I did not DM her information about Angie. I did not accuse Angie of being the mafia. In fact, I told a story about the mafia, and she planted that. Who is the real Monica? The real Monica is someone who really doesn't want to be our friend. that wants to profit from our lives and our pain. Who you really are is the cyber bully, internet troll, reality Von Tees. Before I even met Monica, I had known about her through our mutual friend, Tanisha. Tanisha has been my hairstylist for over three years, and she used to be Monica's closest friend. Knowing how well Tanisha knows Monica, I called her, and she had a crisis of conscience and came clean. Within minutes, my phone was flooded with screenshots, text messages, audio recordings, videos, photos, DMs, volumes of evidence exposing Monica, and I was devastated. That's not true entirely. What do you mean, entirely? 
What does that mean entirely? That means it's part true. Oh my God. Disgusting. Lisa? It's disgusting. You think you can sit at our table and have us celebrate your birthday? Yeah, I heard. You're not you infiltrated this friend group. You're you not. You sought out Jen Shaw on Don't social me. media. Are you and then you worked that out her. That is not what happened at Monica Fowler. What do we right believe right now? Because you trolled you every one of us. I did not troll any of you. you. did. You guys are not listening. Vontis was never just one person. It wasn't just me. There were several other humans involved, but Bottom line, our mission was to take down Jen. The other women were just collateral damage.